Hello guys, welcome to AWS Hands-On. In this video, I'm going to show you a little hack which you can use to run instances of multiple types in your auto scaling group. So generally you must have seen that auto scaling group allows instance of the same type, but I'll show you a little hack which you can use and you can run instances of different types in your auto scaling group. Also, I'm really sorry. I'm uploading a video after a very long time was just occupied with my some personal stuff. So probably I'll be regular now. Um, now let's just get along with our tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I'm already in my AWS console and I'm in my auto scaling group. So what I'll do is I'll create an auto scaling group. So now you can see there are two options instead of one. Earlier it was just launch configuration, but now there's a launch template as well and it's new. So I'll talk about launch template in some other video. It, it requires a video of its own. It's, it's also a very interesting thing which uh, AWS has just launched. So we'll talk about that later. Uh, to begin with, I'll create a launch configuration. I'll select Amazon Linux. For the first instance type, I'll keep it to T2 Micro. I'll name it as Tarek LT1. You can name it anything you want. And then just we'll move along. I don't need to add any storage. For security group, I'll add an existing one. So I already have security group. I'll just, now we'll push review. Everything looks great create launch configuration. Since we don't need to access any of the instances, I'll proceed without a key pair. Now we need to create an auto scaling group. I'll name it as Tarek ASG. You can see it's using the launch configuration which we just created. I'll creep the group size to its initial size. That is one. I'll put it in my VPC, add a couple of subnets to it and rest everything i'm going to keep it as default we're not going to add any scaling policies any notifications or tags just review and create auto scaling group so here our auto scaling group is created you can see this exclamation mark that is something is happening so let's select this and you can see our instance is getting launched so I'll pause this video until this instance is operational and then we'll resume again. Hey guys, welcome back. So you can see our instance is in service. Uh, so now begins the hack actually. So let's go back to launch configuration and create a new launch configuration. You can select, I can, I'm going to select the Amazon Linux and for this time I'm going to select a T2 medium type of instance. Configure details. I'll call it as Tarik LT2. The last one which we created was LT1. And rest everything I'm going to keep same. No storage. For security group I'll add the same security group which I added. And then review. Everything looks great. Create launch configuration. Again, I don't need any key pair. So proceed without a key pair. Create launch configuration. And our launch configuration is created. So go back to auto scaling groups. And now I'm going to select the auto scaling group which we created. Go back to details and press edit. So here we are going to edit two things basically. First is a launch configuration. So you can see earlier it was using Tariq LT1. Now I'm going to select Tariq LT2. And the other thing which we are going to change is our desired capacity, our minimum capacity and our maximum capacity. So I'm going to make it to two, two, two. And that is all the changes which we need to make. Just going to press save. And you can see the acclamation mark again. So this means something has changed in our auto scaling group. And very soon we'll be seeing an instance getting launched here. So I'm going to pause this video again until that instance comes up. Hey guys, 
So now you can see another instance has come up. It's using the launch configuration Tariq LT2. So let's see what type of instance is this. So as you can see, this is a T2 medium. So we don't need to wait for this instance to be properly up. I've shown you how you can add instances of different types in a single order scaling group. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel so I can add more such informative videos. Thank you for watching.